Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome back to the Gifts of God channel. Today, we have a deeply inspiring message to share with you. Following an attack on Donald Trump in America, many citizens across the country are now concerned that such an event could be repeated in other states. The fact that Trump miraculously survived the attack and narrowly escaped death has left people astonished. Some believe that divine intervention played a role, with many attributing his survival to the intercession of Mary, suggesting that miraculous events occurred in his favor. Currently, the primary concern is his safety. Recently, Our Lady made an apparition at the Vatican, issuing a warning to Catholics. She urged them to be vigilant and cautious, especially those residing in specific states in America where similar threats may loom. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you closer to the conversion of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. The atmosphere in the Vatican was charged with a mix of reverence and anticipation. Pilgrims and faithful Catholics had gathered in St. Peter's Square, hoping for a moment of divine connection. The air was thick with prayers and whispers of devotion. As the sun began to set, casting a golden hue over the majestic basilica, an extraordinary silence fell over the crowd. Suddenly, a radiant light appeared brighter than the evening sun, illuminating the entire square. From this celestial glow emerged Our Lady, her presence both awe-inspiring and comforting. Draped in flowing robes of pure white and blue, she seemed to emanate an otherworldly serenity and grace. Her face, however, bore an expression of deep sorrow. As she began to speak, her voice, gentle yet filled with urgency, resonated through the hearts of everyone present. Tears glistened in her eyes, and as they fell, they seemed to carry the weight of the world's suffering. Our Lady spoke of the recent attack on Donald Trump, expressing profound sadness and concern. She warned that similar events could occur again, urging Catholics, particularly those in certain American states, to remain vigilant and prayerful. Her tears fell like droplets of divine sorrow, each one a testament to her love and concern for humanity. The faithful watched in rapt attention, many moved to tears themselves, feeling the depth of her compassion and the gravity of her warning. The apparition lasted only a few moments, but its impact was profound, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of all who witnessed it. Our Lady issued a grave warning, emphasizing the pervasive presence of devils throughout America. She cautioned that these malevolent forces possess the ability to control individuals, posing a significant threat, particularly to Catholics residing in specific states. Her message singled out Ohio, Texas, and California as areas of particular concern, indicating that devils have devised plans to launch severe and painful attacks in these regions. She implored the faithful to be acutely aware of this spiritual danger, urging them to strengthen their defenses through prayer, vigilance, and steadfast faith. The devil's influence, she warned, seeks to sow discord and suffering, making it crucial for Catholics in these states to remain resolute and united in their spiritual battle. The day the devils will launch their attacks on Ohio, Texas, and California will dawn with an eerie sense of foreboding. The sky, usually bright and clear, will be shrouded in a thick, oppressive haze that will seem to suffocate the light. As the sun struggles to pierce through the gloom, an unnatural silence will blanket the land, as if the very earth is holding its breath in anticipation of the impending horror. In Ohio, the air will feel heavy, charged with a palpable sense of dread. People will go about their morning routines, unaware of the dark forces converging upon them. As the day progresses, strange and unsettling occurrences will begin to unfold, 
Appliances will malfunction inexplicably. Animals will become agitated and a chill will run through the hearts of those who sense something is amiss. By midday, reports of inexplicable violence and chaos will start to emerge. People who were once kind and gentle will turn against each other with uncharacteristic ferocity, their eyes glazed over with a malevolent gleam. Churches, usually places of solace and refuge, will become battlegrounds of spiritual warfare as priests and parishioners pray fervently to ward off the evil that has descended upon their community. In Texas, the attack will manifest as a series of catastrophic events. The sky will darken ominously, and a violent storm will erupt out of nowhere, unleashing torrential rains and fierce winds. Lightning will strike repeatedly, igniting fires that will spread rapidly through towns and cities. Amid the chaos, People will report seeing shadowy figures lurking in the peripheries of their vision, vanishing as soon as they try to focus on them. Fear will grip the populace as the devils sow discord and destruction, manipulating minds and turning neighbors against each other. The faithful will gather in makeshift shelters, their prayers rising in desperate supplication as they cling to their rosaries, hoping for divine intervention. In California, Known for its sunshine and vibrant energy, the state will be plunged into darkness and despair. The ground will tremble with seismic activity, and the air will grow thick with acrid smoke as wildfires rage uncontrollably. The devils will exploit the state's vulnerabilities, preying on the fears and anxieties of its residents. People will experience vivid nightmares even during the day, unable to distinguish between reality and the hellish visions imposed upon them. In cities and towns, acts of violence and vandalism will escalate, driven by an unseen malevolence that pits citizens against one another. In a desperate bid to reclaim peace, communities will gather in open spaces to pray, their collective voices a beacon of hope against the encroaching darkness. As the devil's assault reaches its peak, a wave of resistance will begin to build. Inspired by Our Lady's warning, Catholics across the affected states will unite in their faith. They will form prayer circles, hold candlelight vigils, and perform acts of kindness and solidarity to counteract the malevolent influence. The strength of their collective faith will create a spiritual barrier that the devil struggle to penetrate. Slowly, the tide will begin to turn as the power of prayer and unwavering belief starts to dispel the darkness. By nightfall, the attacks will begin to wane. The skies will clear, the fires will subside, and the earth's tremors will cease. Exhausted but resolute, the faithful will emerge from their sanctuaries, knowing that they have faced a profound evil and have withstood its onslaught through the power of their faith and unity. The day of the devil's attack will be remembered as a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the protective power of divine intervention. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen. Thank you for watching today's video on the Gifts of God channel. We hope this message has touched your heart and strengthened your faith. Remember, no matter what challenges we face, God's love and protection are always with us. Stay vigilant, keep praying, and support one another in faith. May God bless you and keep you safe. Until next time, stay blessed and continue to seek His grace. Amen.